So for today, we're going to be looking at the last call for this week. I do apologize that I did not have one last week, but I am going to be real with you guys. I totally forgot Destiny 2 existed last week. I have been keeping up with content for my second channel. If you guys don't know, that's where I put most of, if not all, my non-Destiny 2 content, specifically like playthroughs and whatnot of other games. So right now we're playing <clears throat> Armored Core 6, Remnant 2, uh, Ratchet and Clank, uh, rift apart and then the last one is starfield so i am playing those four games and i'm constantly putting content for them not today though sundays are usually just my whatever days except for the last call which should be up today so the other thing is you guys might have noticed that my mic is different my old mic actually died on me and when i say died it actually still worked especially for this channel but for my second channel it just i don't know what it was it just kind of kept breaking in and out um, I think it's because Elgato, but I don't have to go through all that. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Let's just get into it. So first one is going to be Genotype Null Zero. I like this shader quite a bit. It's has some history. Uh, I go further more, more in depth about why I like this one in the weekly video, which if you guys don't know weekly videos, we usually add Ada in as well. So if you guys are interested to see what Ada is offering the, the first week, definitely check out the weekly video because that's where I also show the, showcase all of this. Uh, New Pacific Rush, this is a pretty cool shader. I definitely like it with this setup, the one that I have now. I think the cloak would have to be switched out, but I do think this looks super cool. And then Dead Orbit's Fate, <clears throat> this is a pretty good black and white shader. Just be aware that there is white. If you do want to have black in there, then you're going to have to find armor sets that only have the black, which is not hard, but at the same time, you have to find those armor. So. I definitely think this looks cool as well. I would just switch out the cloak for something else again. <clears throat> as for the armor sets, they're all right here. I don't really have much to say on the hunters. I think the chest piece is really cool, but other than that, I mean, the helmet can definitely be used. Just be aware that the, like, not the not the not the O in the front, but like the thing that's holding that does not change color, which is really unfortunate. Let me go to the um, other classes so that way I can see it because I don't remember off the top of my head. Actually, I think I just remembered the Titans. Okay, the Warlocks is pretty terrible. So Titans, I think the helmet is really cool. I think the chest piece is really cool. I think the I think all of it is pretty cool, actually. Like all of it is definitely usable. Will you use it? That's the problem. I think that now that I look at it, the chest piece, I do like it, but at the same time, it's a little too small. So I think the Titans definitely have the best piece because the Warlocks, I think all of it is trash except the bond. I think the bond is really cool. You guys have seen me use it in multiple sets. And <clears throat> yeah, I just don't like any of the pieces for the Warlocks except the Bond. So that's pretty much it for that. I'm Again, I'm not the biggest fan of this armor, but if you want to pick at least some of these pieces, then definitely pick up the pieces that I recommended. As for Banshee, we have Arsenic Bite 4B with Dragonfly and Sneak Bow. We have Plank Stride with Compulsive Reloader and Harmony. We have Contingency Plan with Subsistence and One for All. Uh, p p that fucking word Eye of the Storm and Demo we have Galu RR3 Ensemble and Dragonfly and then we have Syn Syncopation 53 with Zen Moment and Vorpal Lodbrok C with Dynamic Sway and Kill Clip wait a minute mm. I uh I kind of like that though like uh yeah, I kind of like that. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I need to make room again for another fucking auto. All right. There we go. We have uh, Sintata 57 with hip Ooh, rapid hit and vorpal. Man, that I'd be OK with this role if it wasn't a hand cannon, if that makes any sense. If this was any like if this was any other damage perk, I think I would be like, oh, shit. Range two dog. I'm, I'm clearly thinking about PvP for this one, but like Guardians with their super active is just so niche that like most of the time like whatever's. Uh, threat Detector and Offhand Strike, Impulsive Amplifier, and Danger Zone, and then a Sword. So, sorry, let me, Tireless Blade and Destabilizing Rounds. I'd be okay with Destabilizing Rounds if this was something else. Um, yeah, that's really it. So that's pretty much it for banshee i think i think there's only like one weapon that's actually worth a shit for the for me personally not saying all of these are trash i mean some of these are trash but like 
for me it has to really have some perks where i'm like ooh, i like that like literally dynamic sway and kill clip especially on a high impact lot brock that's gonna be really fun so let me know what you guys think about banshee as for Zer, he's in watcher's grave on ness is currently selling the io armor i definitely think the io armor has so much potential uh, i'm gonna go to obviously see this armor because it's not in front of my face but i definitely think everyone's is really cool so hunters i think the helmet is super dope i think the chest piece is super dope i think the boots are very decent and the arms i think are the weakest portion with the cloak as well titans i think the arms chest no i think the arms boots the mark and the helmet are super dope like i like the chest piece but it's not as good as like the boots or actually the boots for, for me is like the best piece i love those boots uh, i definitely think the boots and the helmet are the best pieces the arms are cool but they shader fucking annoyingly and the mark is cool but i don't use it that much for warlocks i think oh so the helmet i'm not the biggest fan of the arms are kind of boring but definitely usable <clears throat> the chest piece unfortunately i just don't like it which is funny because this is a not the same piece but it's a it's a similar piece to an iron banner set i'll show you in a bit but it's just kind of boring looking if i'm being quite honest like it's like whatever's the boots are boring and then the bond is like oh so the one that i'm talking about is specifically this one over here this one so it's the same but also not the same it has the same like geometry and whatnot the only thing it doesn't have these pointy bits and the texture is completely different but it's kind of the same so if you want if you don't have the named lord's ornament chest piece but you want something very similar you're gonna want the jensen night robes that's gonna be the closest thing you can get and i do think the shader uh for that iron banner set is being dropped so if you want to have like the iron to steel on it it's gonna look pretty cool it's gonna look close to it just be aware that the texture is gonna be the thing that's gonna throw it off so i definitely think some pieces you definitely should pick up for the titans and hunters not so much for the warlocks unless you want to do what i just said so let me know what you guys think about the armor as for the weapons we have false promises with dynamic sway reduction and rampage i actually picked this up because I like it quite a bit not only does it have rampage and dynamic sway but it also has extended barrel and high caliber rounds to bump up that range even more which i bumped it up to 87 which is wild <clears throat> we have i don't remember uh Ky chrysura mellow encore demo i close smg with shot swap and frenzy timelines vertex with auto loading holster and snapshot sights path of least resistance with full oh with stats for all and volt shot that's pretty cool pretty good behringer's memory with field prep and demo and then seven seraph saw with clown cartridge and firing line so the ones i would pick up would actually be uh if you don't if you don't have icolos or you don't have the uh path of least resistance i would definitely tell you to pick these up because these are red border weapons and the other one i would probably pick up is seven seraph saw just because clown cartridge and firing line would go hard just be aware that this would be one that you would use with people around you so that's like the only thing i don't like about firing line and then for the one exotic random roll hawk moon with surplus and then for the other exotics we have colony which is annoying in pvp stompies which is ooh, ooh. excuse me sir so that's gonna be a 2020 ooh. i would probably pick the you know what i i'm gonna pick this up um Shit, I don't have dim up in tireless strides. What is this? I don't remember tirely. Dude, that's how long I haven't played that. I don't okay. I don't remember shit about this game now. Um hinterlands. I'll pick it up later, I guess. Or I could just turn on dim, I guess. So yeah, that's actually pretty decent. I mean I already have like three stompies that but like ah, once I master work this 2020 oh like 20 on resilience 20 on discipline dude if this if that 18 on discipline was on mobility oh my god i would have lost my shit because that's literally what i am looking for i'm looking for just mobility resilience and recovery that's all i want but hunters don't get that luxury because uh fuck us apparently so i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna do this one right here so let me just pick that up real quick uh worm god caress which is oh my god look at that recovery that'd be a 41 once masterwork and you put a recovery thing on it that's pretty good 
uh, Fell Winter's Helm with Jesus Christ. Look at these. Okay, I'm going to pick this one up too for my Warlock. Even though I don't use Fell Winter because, like, let's be real, why would I? But I already, I already know I pissed someone off. <clears throat> I also have not shown you the armor rolls for all of these, so I will have it up right now. I haven't even seen these myself, so once I'm editing this, I'll see what's good or not. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. As for Eververse, we have Breezy Clear. This I pretty, yeah. This is the beach one. I don't really care for it. Uh, Coleo Petra, which, Coleo Petra, whatever. Uh, it looks really cool. I definitely like this shader quite a bit, so much so that I was actually thinking about combining it with this armor set. The only thing is, I don't like the glow at the back, which probably just means I would just have to switch out the cloak. Uh, we have Cannon Fodder, which is, yeah. We have Vigil for Saint 14, <clears throat> which I think is the better of the ornaments just because it's not super flashy because the other one is like angelic wings and shit. And this one's just very like tactical, not tact, I guess tactical, but like just to the point, it's just a gun. No, no fancy things to it. Uh, we have red light, green light, which is funny because once you turn it off, then you turn the, the red one, which is cool. And uh, the stuff at the bottom, we have Infinite Quiver. I, I want to pick this up, but I also don't really give a shit about it. Um, I don't know what it is. I just don't really care to pick it up. Uh, Wasteland Racer. I definitely think this looks cool. Uh, Blight or Flight, which I kind of written. I, I want to pick this up because this is the skin for wither horde i'll show you guys in a bit uh nuclear nucle nucleosynthetic sheath for caliban's hand which is literally the the ornament i'm look i have on it right now the look that i have i think it looks super cool we have glow stick dance and then hoverboard uh, i should mention i will be making that ornament video probably tomorrow i'll have it up uh lurk not early in the morning, but like in the afternoon. So that way people can see the sets and make sure to pick some of them up because these ornaments are really cool. For the other transmit effects, we have ossified entrance. We have up in smoke. We have traveler's wake effects. Bright as fuck. We have time honored. I have used this shader i don't remember where i've used it but i definitely look, think it looked cool i would definitely combine it with all this look because it does look cool again i would just switch out the helmet and the cloak i don't want to glow in this one i don't think it needs it uh atmospheric glow i think this is a really cool green especially like this looks super cool uh chrome stock which yep chrome and then metropolitan acoustics which i'm not the biggest fan of this one I, this is the buzz lightyear shader if i remember correctly so that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I <laughs> made this uh, uh, backwards. Banshee was supposed to be the second one. So that's why. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Either way, let me know what you guys think. I do apologize that I did not have a video last week. It's just, again, I totally forgot that Destiny 2 existed because I started playing uh, Call of Duty Cold War. And I know some people are like, ugh, Cold War. But I have just really, I mean, either either you're going to be ugh or you're going to be like, oh, shit, you play Call of Duty. I, I mean, dude, I'm a, I'm like 32, so yeah, I, I grew up playing like all the, like Modern Warfare 2, uh, 3, and then uh, Black Ops 1, 2, and 3 as well, and all that shit, so it feels good to be playing another COD, just because I like Destiny 2, don't get me wrong, it's just the PvP sometimes is, I don't know, I'm used to COD's PvP, if that makes any sense, like, like just really fast high TTKs and shit like that. And Destiny 2, not saying it doesn't have high TTKs, but I don't know, man. It just, it really be like that. So let me know what you guys, I also just like the feel of, of uh, COD's like first person shooter. Not saying Destiny 2 is bad. I think it's great as well. It's just, I don't know, man. There's a quickness to Call of Duty that I miss. So let me know what you guys think. Again, uh, I will be probably making some content. I don't know what kind. Um, I still need to get fucking dude like I still need to get all of the armor from Crota because I still haven't gotten it so I got it for the hunters 
and I don't have it for the Warlocks. The Warlocks, the chess piece is the one piece that I don't have, which is very unfortunate because I would have what five, no, four videos. Uh, if I got this, no, five videos actually. So five videos from, from that armor set, just because we're going to do the review, the shader video, and then the three individual sets for the classes. So I want to get it, but unfortunately the, it's the end of the season and the end of the season no, lull is here, which means that not everyone wants to play the game, which is completely valid. Uh, no one wants to play the game at the end of the season. I don't, and I still have a bunch of stuff to do specifically quests. I have not completed them all. I still need 12. I think it was. Yeah, I still need 12 and I don't, I don't know where I'm going to do these 12. Like some of these are fucking terrible. So I just wish some of the, some of the challenges weren't annoying. Like I, this is from week one and I'm still at like barely 80% and best believe I've done Vanguard, Gambit and Crucible, bro. Like this is wild. So yeah, uh, again, I do apologize. If you guys want to see more content from me, you guys are definitely going to want to check out the second channel just because the second channel is where I have a lot of content i'm not even kidding that actually you know what let me show you guys real quick because when i tell you guys that i my second channel is like where i post most of my shit i truly mean it like that channel is crazy massive so let me see um to give you like an idea i've actually made a video for what almost a month and a half now <clears throat> So here it is. Let me see. So here it is. Uh, Fix Tony plays. Obviously, I'll have it up. But right here, Remnant 2, Armored, Armored Core 6, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, and then Starfield. And then it's all of this. Like, you will see days. They're days apart. Because, again, this is the one that I post most of my stuff. And you guys can actually see my face in this one because I actually do show my face. But... A lot of this is just gonna be just me playing different stuff and enjoying the game. I mean, I beat Remnant 2 already, but this is like the extra stuff. Uh, Armored Core, I'm still going through it. It's the same as Starfield. Um, Ratchet and Clank, I already beat. So, yeah, if you guys want to check out this channel, it would I you would guys you would be doing me a favor because I want this channel to grow. Um, just because yeah, I just want it to grow. So, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys checking up checking out the other channel. Oh, especially now that Destiny 2 is like not dying, but it feels like it's dead right now. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.